Hello, everyone. It's Dar. Okay, I'm going to admit this right now. I am. And thanks to Cynthia for giving me this name. Cynthia Vice Montgomery. Dar is... She's getting a little, you know, drunk Dar, okay? So, I just want to say something. I had a great day today. I mean, I've been up since 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 18th. I had a great day. And I have photos to prove it. And it's, it was just, oh, it was just such a great day. I went, I woke up this morning early. I mean, early, early, like 4.30 a.m. My butt was in the shower, or my body was in the shower, not just my butt, my whole body. And um, my local newscast finally came out to where I live. And I'm going to say where I live. I live in Okeechobee City or Okeechobee County, um, Florida, and I've been texting my local channel that I've watched for eons and eons and eons since I was little, knee high to a grasshopper, and um, they finally came out to Okeechobee. To do their, you know, hey, let's get meet and greet. They have a meet and greet. Well, this morning, <laughs> I woke up. Hey, Miss Meow Meow. Um, this is a good channel. This is a, you know, this is a good thing. And yes, I've been drinking this afternoon. And I have a good reason to. Because I've had a great day. Um... My um, my local channel from where I used to live, an hour and a half away, we still watch them here. And they came out for a meet and greet. I finally, finally met Holly Davis in the early morning. I mean, early morning. I was there, I think, at 5.05 a.m. this morning. And they know my channel. I told them all about my channel. And I told them about the cyber bullies and, you know, stuff. So, but um, anyway, that's another story to tell you. And um, this is not for the cyber bullies. And I finally, finally met this little boy this, this, this morning. I don't know what time it was. The, the sun was up. He didn't have to be at at school till like 7.30 a.m. And this little boy, well, anyway, before, before I go to go to there, um, when, I, when I pulled in and I parked, and I took two parking spots, I did. I don't know how to drive my truck, you know. And I was sober. I didn't have my coffee yet, so, hey, give me credit there. But the thing is, I went and I met, when I pulled up, and I saw this gentleman, one of the reporters. He's a very, very nice man. He's a Navy guy. He did his duty. He served his country. He's a reporter for my local, you know, uh, news agency in West Palm. And um, I saw him November 1st at the flag ceremony. I have a photo. And when I pulled up and he saw me and he's like, wait a minute, I know that truck. How come I know that truck? You know? And 
when I got out of the truck this morning, early this morning, and I was walking up, and he looks over at me, and he goes, Oh, my goodness, it's Dar from South Florida. Huh? Leaving YouTube over Kevin? Okay, what does Kevin... Okay, Lisa. Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on with Kevin, but please, I don't know. Um... Because I haven't been following Kevin. I mean, I have, but not really. So I don't know. But anyway, beside the point is um, I got up early this morning. I went over to, to meet and greet, finally meet and greet my news people that I've been, you know, knee high to a grasshopper, hopper, you know. And um, I've been watching it for years. I mean, many, many moons. I mean, many, many, many moons. I remember Jim Sackett. I remember this. I remember that. Whatever. Huh? Kevin took all your money? Well, I, I don't know. But anyway, um, getting back to my story for today. For today is... Um, I went and I had a great time today. Um, Michael Trim, he knows about my channel, but he's a family man and, you know, he loves his family and I don't want nobody to go and follow him because he's a good guy. And all my local newscast people, that I've grown up with, I have some photos. Yeah. This is the first one. This was early, early this morning at probably 5 after 5 a.m. or something. I, I mean, I never took a shower so fast to get my butt out of here, you know, and be there for their live cast. And I was there. I was there from... Five, a little after 5 a.m. to about eh, maybe 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Came home. Had to take, you know, I had to come home and eat and have my coffee and all that yada, yada, yada stuff. Yeah. But here is the first photo that I took of my newscast. Right there. You can't really see them. But that's Holiday in the blue, or, you know, and Mike Trim in the red. Yeah. And um, the next one, here's a closer one, because I, I took a closer picture. Here they are. They're doing a live show, and I was in the background. And I talked to them. Finally got to meet. Holony in the blue. Holony is the most nicest, sweetest person on the planet. I rank her with um with Hody Copy. I rank her with Hody Copy. And then um, the high school uh, journalists there they were on their way to go to. Orlando conference or something. I don't know what it was. Huh? Oh, okay. Um, but here's after the, you know, the live show. You uh, know, that's Mike Trim in the red. Okay, let's go this way. You know, these young people are going to be journalists, and I think that's awesome. These guys in Okeechobee High School, journalist team, I think they're going to be awesome. There they are. And I say thank you. I told you. 
they're the high school kids from journalism from the high school out here where I live in Okeechobee. Bra Bra Brahma? No, not Brahma. Bra Brahman or something. I don't know. The, it's purple. Um, and then, oh, when I came home for the first time, my peanut, my peanut did this. She jumped in my lap. I had to take a photo of her. <laughs> she missed me this morning. She did. That's my peanut. Yeah. But I just want to, oh, and also, this is the last photo I have. I went back after I came home, took a nap and ate and stuff. And um, Ashley Glass, she is the most nicest, sweetest per person on the planet, too. Uh Robin is doing something right now. She'll probably be in later if I'm still on. But that's Miss Ashley Glass. She's one of the reporters on my local newscast out here or in West Palm. And we became buddies. We're buds. She loved my um, flamingo earrings, my flamingo, and my fl flamingo little you know, pocketbook, whatever I had. And um, it was just so nice. And she took a couple videos of me. And she asked me, what does Okeechobee mean to you? I think that's what she said. And I said, what makes Okeechobee is you come out here and you go into the grocery store and they say hello to you. Everybody is nice out here. Everybody, it doesn't matter where you go. They, you open the door, they say, welcome in. Hello. And all. And I think that's the greatest thing ever. I haven't heard that in years before we moved out here. Everybody doesn't care what you've done in your past or anything like that. But my newscast, which they're still there right now till seven, but I'm not going to go. I was there all majority of the day and I don't think they need to see me. And um, I love the evening crew. Don't get me wrong. But you know, no. I just wanted to come on and let you know. <laughs> Paul, when are you uh, moving to, um, you know, where you say you're going to be moving to? And hello, everybody in the room. How are you? And you will not see me tomorrow night on... Um, beers and cheers. Oh, okay. Okay. Hope by summer. Okay. Um, you will not see me tomorrow night on beers and cheers because I don't want to be thrown under the bus again, but I still love beers and cheers. I still love Jeff and everybody there. Okay. I have no meanness or anything about it. I had something to do with it too. So, you know, I'm going to take the responsibility here. Because I'm the bigger person, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Mr. Paul, are you ready to get out of PA in the in the snow? You know, in, in the um, wintertime? It does get cold up there, though. But it's still a lot better than the snow. Well, maybe, does it snow up in wherever your sister lives? I don't know. I don't know because I'm a Florida girl. I got the flamingos, you know. Oh, really? You love PA so much. Well, hopefully, Paul, you find me on Facebook or Messenger. And um, 
we get in touch and I'm going to be up there the end of my uh, end of not May end of um, June early July so hopefully we get together and have coffee or something or tea you know I would love to meet you Paul you know but getting back to my story for today, this little boy showed up about, what, 6.30 a.m., 7 a.m., whatever. And he does, um, him and his family, um, he started this. Okay, you see this? You see the heart. This is for all the first responders, for the police officers, for the paramedics, for all everybody in the hospital, you know, all of the people that take care of us, the deputy sheriffs, the city cops, the police department, everyone here. This is from this little boy. Um, what is it? These hearts for heroes. They made this and they put a heart in the middle of Okeechobee. This is Okeechobee. Okay. And they put a heart in the middle of Okeechobee because they love Okeechobee. And this little boy is going to be seven years old tomorrow. And this was his idea. Okay, this was his idea, his plan up at six years old. He passes these out to all the first responders and the um, his heroes in his life. You know, he loves each and every one of the police department, the sheriff's department, um, everybody. And he turned around and looked at me and he goes, this is for you, Dar. And he gave me this with a little piece of paper. I'm going to read the paper. This paper says, dear first responder, please accept this heart for, as a token of gratitude for your service and dedication to your community, and to our great nation. As a community, we will always be in debt to you and your family for the, the sacrifices that have been made throughout the years of service. With love and respect, the Z team, Z's Hearts for Heroes. Facebook, he has a Facebook page, and he has a mobile number, which I'm not going to, you know, say. For my six-year-old child. And his little sister doing teddy bears for all the six ki sick kids in the hospital. That just made my heart so big today. And his dad and his mom... I just love them. I just love that family. They live in Okeechobee, where I live in Okeechobee. Actually, actually, I live in their area. You know, Okeechobee, Florida. <laughs> um, Paul, um, get in contact with... Um, Robin, okay? I don't want to say. But this little boy that's turning seven tomorrow, it's his birthday. And also tomorrow is four years that my mom passed away four years ago as of April 19th. You too, honey.
So this little boy is everything to me. And his little sister, because Okeechobee, with love to all his heroes. And they're my heroes, too. I love my police department. I love my city p police department. I love the sheriff's department. I love the paramedics. I love the first responders. I'm with this little boy. I'm not going to say, let's defund the police department because we need them. They're out there sacrificing their lives for all of us and our community. You know. But with this little six-year-old saying, dear first responders, it just gets to me. I know, Paul. Me too. I get clothes on the dryer. You will not see me this weekend on YouTube. No. I'm not going live on YouTube this weekend. And hello, Nat. Or Nate. But this little boy. Z's Hearts for Heroes. takes my breath away and makes my heart real big. For a six-year-old. And meeting all of my morning newscasters that I watch every, you know, Monday through Friday. And I do watch Saturdays and Sundays too because I love my really guys on Sundays. I do on the Today Show. I love my really, but I love my Chris also too on my local channel. So Chris, you're with me. I've met you a few times. You know, coming and going. Yeah. And yes, I am drinking beer out of a wine glass. And I even told, you know, when we were just talking off camera, I told everybody about my channel on the newscast. And they're like, well, we have to come and watch. I said, no, you don't want to watch. Because right now I'm not a really, you know, I'm not. But they looked at me and they're like, Dar, what's not to love about you? See, they call me Dar. They don't call me Drunk Dar. Because I told them about, oh, yeah, my number one cyberbully out there calls me Drunk Dar. And then they all looked at me like, and you're at home? Mm-hmm. Yep. But anyway. Hey, Dar, I just saw Valerie, but no. I know. Isn't she great? I didn't see... I didn't see her the show today because I was busy talking to my local channel. Oh, I know. I love her, too. I loved her in um, you know, the, the TV show, what she did for a long, long time. I'm not talking about politics, honey. April, I'm not talking about politics. No. My local news channel. <laughs> I love them to bits and pieces. I do. And I, I told them, oh, they, well, they, they asked me, they go, well, what do you do that, you know, makes these people mad at you? I said, oh, I go on and I drink my beer, my crappy ass beer out of a wine glass. I'm like, that's it? I'm like, yeah. I go, but you know what I'm doing to really tick them off? Is my fake smile. Well, hello, Miss Trinkle Toes. Trinkle 
Trika told you, you got to be on your toes, okay? Um, Robin's not in the room tonight, and Curry's cat was here, but she had to go. So, I had a very busy, busy day. I had a great day. I know, Paul. I know. You get a good night's sleep, Paul. And I will talk to you soon. I will not be on here. Yes, I could go on live on my, my phone, but I will not come on. At least, I hope not. Tomorrow night, to, this time tomorrow night, um, I'm going to be drinking beer, having dinner, sitting around a campfire, loving my life with my hubby. That's the best thing ever. I'm not a, I'm not gay or anything like that. I am mar happily married. Happily married. With the love of my life. My best friend. And I just can't wait. Sit around the campfire. And say, oh, my goodness, honey, I love you. You know, because I do. I love my honey. I love my hubby to death. <laughs> Twinkle toes, yeah. April's in here. Um, Nate was in here. I don't know where he went, but he might still be in here. Um, I haven't checked, so and I'm not going to check because this is a, a happy room. And I want to say to the night crew, to my you know night crew of my news channel, if they're watching, if they you know. If, if Mike Trim, Michael Trim, you know, Mike Trim, you know, hey, you got to watch Star's channel on YouTube, you know. Cheers, everybody. But I know they're probably already in bed because Miss Holony, I met Miss Holony for the first time. And she is beautiful. In person as she is on camera. Michael Trim. Oh, he's he's handsome as ever. And I understand why his wife loves him so much. I do because he's a handsome guy. And she has a good guy. She has a great guy. And I met Ashley Glass. And she's happily married. And she has two kids. And she's just as beautiful in person as she is on TV. So, those are the three people. And I met the camera crew and the security guy. And um, they're all fantastic. They are. Good night, Paul. Good night. And I think it's awesome. And I'm so glad that they finally came out here. And they loved Okeechobee. Okeechobee. Okay. The difference from Okeechobee and, say, West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County. Let's just say. Um, Palm Beach County used to be like Okeechobee. A small town. Because I was born and raised there. So was my husband, Marty. And we remember when there was nothing. I mean, there was parts of I-95 wasn't even put together. Okay. And then they put it together. And then all of a sudden it just boomed. I used to live on North Lake Boulevard for my first 21 years. Of my life. North Lake Boulevard was a two lane street with dirt road. Now look at it. Look at it. 
it's what seven eight or is it ten wide i don't know i don't you know it's it's a zoo let's just put it that way and then okay I lived there for my first 21 years. And then we moved from there to Lone Pine Estates, right across the street from the Rapids Water Slide, which is awesome. I used to work there during the summer. Great time. Had a fun time. It was a good job. It was a great job while it lasted because it was only open in the summertime. And then I fell in love with my Marty and um, moved in with Marty. Never did, never thought I would move in before I got married. Never thought of that. But I moved in because I couldn't get enough of my Marty. Yeah, you, the unknown caller and everything out there. Yeah, I couldn't get enough of my, my Marty. I still can't get enough of my Marty, although he drives me nuts, insane, crazy, whatever. But it's a good one. And then we lived there for 24 years. We watched Boynton Beach, Florida. Boom. I mean, it just boomed. Like a firecracker went off and went boom. Congress Avenue used to be a two-lane street when we first moved in to Lantana. But then all of a sudden, it just boomed, skyrocketed. It just boomed. And then I took care of my mom. I took care of my, you know, everything. And we decided, you know, after my mom passed away and his dad passed away and everybody else left Palm Beach County. We decided this is the thing that they at that actually Glass asked me. What made you move to Okeechobee? What really made us to move to Okeechobee was the smallness of the the county. The um Everybody, you walk into a store and they say, good morning or good afternoon, hello. You don't get that in West Palm. They look at you and they're like, who are you? What are you doing here? Not, no offense to West Palm. And, um, or Palm Beach County, I should say. Some places are nice. But then... You know, I really thought about it after everything was over with Ashley Glass. And to be honest with you, the reason why I love Okeechobee, Florida, top of the big lake of Lake Okeechobee, is the kindness, the sweetness, the love of everybody is still a, a, a tiny town, but yet it's growing. It's, it's growing more. And um, it's just, it's just homey. It's, I shouldn't say homey, but um, it's just so relaxing. It's just so nice just to, be out here. Yes, I the the two things or three things I miss the most is the convenience of everything. Like I could run to Costco in Lantana when we lived in Lantana to get ice cream or coffee beans or whatever. The convenience. But out here you have to think. You have to pack a cooler. You have to Make a day plan, planner, you know, and I love doing that too. But just to drive and then you, you go and North Lake Boulevard is just a zoo. Just North Lake Boulevard. 
I'm not talking about Costco's parking lot, okay, on North Lake Boulevard. It's worse than a zoo, okay? But the thing is, what I love about Okeechobee County, Okeechobee City, just the whole Okeechobee is for the love of my aunt and my Uncle Frank. My Aunt Barbara and my Uncle Frank. May they rest in peace together. They're no longer around. Um, they showed me Okeechobee when I was like 12, 13 years old. I wanted to divorce my parents. And I wanted my uncle to adopt me. But now nah, it didn't happen. And those are the two things in my life that brought me out here to Okeechobee. I never thought Marty and I would move out here and live and get a nice little place and a nice home and you know, I thought we were going to be stuck in Palm Beach County. But you know what? No. Here we are. We're living our dreams. Okeechobee is a small little town, and it's going to grow. It is. Just like everywhere. It's going to grow. It's going to boom. And it's going to happen. We're back where we were 24 years ago. Well, we've been, we will be out here four years as of June 9th. That's my girlfriend Diane's birthday. I ski daddled out of here, out of there, out of here, and don't want to ever look back, but I still love West Palm. West Palm Beach County is will always be our home. It's our home. That's where we were, we were born and raised. And we're still so close that we can always go back. And um, <laughs> I love Channel 5. WT. WPTV Channel 5. My local newscast. Oh, I hear a lot of things that's going on over there. Do I miss it? A little bit, a little times, but no. But to all of my news people out there, I love you. My local newscast. But I did say I love all the newscasts in Palm Beach County. But my number one newscast is WPTV Channel 5. My local newscast. I've been watching Channel 5 since I was a knee, knee high to a grasshopper. And I love each and every one of them. I miss you know, other people, they come and they go and they, you know, they move on. But Chris Gilmore, I love you. Mike and Holony and um, Ashley Glass, I love you. Steve, I love you, the weather guy. I miss my Glenn Glazer, but, you know, he's on a different channel. I still love him. Still miss them. But Steve Regal is awesome too. Because he is. Sometimes he's, he's, he's funny. I get, I was a surfer. <laughs> a surfer? Hey, bro. I'm a troll on YouTube. <laughs> 
Well, I admit it. I am a troll. You know, why lie? Everybody is a troll or a surfer. Yeah, you surf the web, you, you know. But, oh, today it was just the security guard there. Today was awesome. He was a tall, thin dude. He was cool. He kept me company. Oh, yeah. It was great. I told him about my channel here. And you really don't want to watch me. <laughs> he goes, well, if I'm still open, you go on. I'll, I'll watch you. I said, hello. <laughs> Security guard? I'm not going to say your name. No. Well, you know who you are. You know, I'm a grown adult. I'm turning 61. When I turned 59, I, it just blew my mind. It blew my mind. And I got drunker than a skunk. And yes, the wrong thing, what I did. And I regret it. I do. And we're not going to go there. we got to go back and watch the video. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Because I was a I was a flippin' idiot on my 59th birthday party. Yeah, I was. And I admit it. I did. I admit it. And um, I'm a human being. I'm a female. Last time I checked. Yeah, I still have my boobs. Okay. And I still got my female parts. Yeah. But, you know, when you have these Adult cyber bullies, uh, you know, cyberbullying adults. It just just doesn't make sense. You know, I I I said something. You know, I go, have you ever heard? Like this morning, I go, have you ever heard of adult cyberbullying no, another adults? And they looked at me like, no. Why are they doing that? Well, I told, told, well, I said, well, I don't know. They don't like what I do. And I'm, here I am, here I am at my house. My, my, not very clean den. Okay. But here I am at my own home. And I told, also told them that the last two years and my number one cyber bully right now is going to deny it because she does. Seven times they've been called to my door, knocked on my door seven times for a welfare check. And my sheriff's department, if they're watching, they know, they can see I'm capable of fine. They don't need to knock on my door. But I always say they're welcome to knock on my door to, to do a check if they want to. If they think I'm in the wrong or whatever, or if I need help, I want them to knock on my door. You know, what if I get up and fall down and I can't get up again? What up? You know? You know, and you think I'm not I'm never gonna be sixty something years old. But here I am, six I'm sixty something years old. Things are breaking down. Things are going south. You know. Life is life. You live your life to the fullest. You know, you, you tell yourself that. But yet, other people don't even understand that stuff. You know, why do I need a knock on the door for a welfare check when I know I'm fine? Now, if I'm not, then that's different. 
Am I going to do what I did on my 59th birthday? Heck no. Well, not on camera, not on live on camera, but no. Have I, when was the, when was the last time I had a fireball shot? I just, I think it was Thanksgiving. I think even that. I don't even, I don't even remember. You know, but see, I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Well, I can. No, I can see your April showers. You're fine. See, I'm a grown adult. I'm a female. And I don't take any, you know what, from anybody else anymore. No one is going to walk all over me. I don't care who you are, what you are. Who do you think you are? And I need to go get Peanut. She at the door. We got the we have the AC on here. Can you believe that? In Florida? Well, yeah, it's Florida. Yeah, we got the AC on. A air conditioning. It's that time. Oh, there she is. And you know what, everyone out there, and if any of my, you know, people that I met today, that I told them about my channel, I'm good. I'm so good. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I know Ohio girl. I know, I know. And it's just like, you like you blink your eye and you're like, oh my God, I'm 60, I'm 59. And it's like, what happened? Where did the years go? And then here I am going to be 61 at the end of May, which it's just a number. And you look at yourself and you're like, Oh my gosh, I'm my parents' age when I was young, you know? It's like, now I'm up there. And you're like, what the heck? What happened? You know? What literally happened? The years, my mama was right. And mama's usually always right. It doesn't matter what it is. It, she, they're usually always right. 99, well, yeah, anyway, um, that the years fly by and you go, what happened? Yes, meow, meow, old is gold, I know, I love being in my 60s, I love this chapter, I don't love the chapter of my cyber bullies, of course not. But I love my life for what I am and for who I am and for what I have done with my life. You know? Because your life is your life. You know? Well, hello, Miss Rhode Island. I love Miss Rhode Island. Miss Tracy.
Miss Tracy, you need to watch this if you didn't see it, but I'm going to repeat myself. I'm saying it. I'm repeating it because it's a good repeat. Um, this little boy that lives in Okeechobee, somewhere in Okeechobee, his name is Z's Hearts for Heroes. Okay. He passes these. This is the lake, Okeechobee. And I hope, um, um, I guess I can't, <laughs> I can't think of her name, but who did my, um, made up my, uh, you know, sign here that I have that I love dearly and everything is going to be on that, you know. This little boy at six years old, he's turning seven tomorrow. It's his birthday tomorrow. And he passes these out to his heroes. And I'm going to read the paper that came with it. I saw him, I met him for the first time today. I've seen uh, Mike Trim's little video of him when he met him over at the Veterans Park uh, out here in Okeechobee. And he goes, this is what the paper says. Okay, Miss, everybody out there? It says, dear first responders, or responder, please accept this heart as a token of gratitude for your service and dedication to your community and our great nation. As a community, we'll always be in debt to you, which is true. Um, okay, wait a minute. And your family for the sacrifices that they have been made throughout the years of service with love and respect, the Z team, Z's Hearts for Heroes. This little six year old little boy that's turning seven tomorrow made this and he passes these out to all of his heroes. I'm repeating myself. And this morning, I didn't have any coffee in my system. Okay. <laughs> and I needed my coffee. But no, I didn't. He made my heart as big as that heart or even even more bigger. The more love this little seven-year-old tomorrow. This was his idea. And now his little sister is having, I think, um, teddy bears for hugs. She's going to be doing something different. And this is awesome. They're going to be passing out teddy bears for all the kids that are in the hospital. And the rehabs and, and all that stuff. You know? Oh, my gosh. Tracy, he's the greatest little boy. And he's, for a six-year-old that's going to be seven years old, he is like 22 years old. Just the way his parents raised him, brought him up, and he's only going to be seven tomorrow. It got my heart. I tell you. I was hungry. I was getting cranky because I didn't have my caffeine and, and all that stuff. I came home and I had my caffeine and I had my breakfast and let the doggy out because she had to go potty. And I took a nap in my recliner and I watched the Channel 29 Morning News. 
And they brought up this little boy. And it just made my heart grow bigger. You know. And then I took my little nap and stuff. And then I left. And I went back. And I, I, I went back and Mike Trim and Holly Davis and Ashley Glass was there and the news, the, the people behind the scenes. You, know, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Because, you know, you think, okay, you're watching your, new, your local newscast. But do you understand the people behind the scenes? what they do for a living, you know, it's just amazing what they do. I sat, I, no, I didn't sit there. I stood there and I watched them behind the scenes, what they do every single day for us. You know? Picketing? Okay. Hmm. Oh, cool. Um, but the thing is, my day today, I am so tired right now, but I am still so full of love with this little boy. You know, and everyone here in Okeechobee County, Okeechobee City, just Okeechobee completely, I love them all. I love my friends. I love my family. I love my husband to death. I do. I mean, I love all my good peeps in my room. And, no, eh, I'm not going to say that, huh? I don't love my cyber bullies. No. Hmm. Well, Ohio girl, well, thank you for being here. Do you have more storms? Hmm. Twinkle toes. Are you having more storms? You need glasses. <laughs> I got mine. I love my glasses. But you know what? To be honest with you this morning, when I pulled up the first time, I guess I'm repeat, repeating myself. And Mike Trim looked at me. And he's like, I think I know that person, but I'm not sure. You know, you could, you could just tell by his eyes. You know. I get, get out of the truck and I close the door and I start walking up and he goes, oh my gosh, it's Darlene from South Florida. Well, he calls me Darlene from South Florida. So, oh my gosh, that just made my day. And I did send him a photo of Yesterday sunrise. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, okay. This is this is Miss Ashley Glass. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? Look at that smile. You can't you can't get a better enough smile than that. Because we were both happy. We both, you know, was loving life. And she loves her life, and I love my life, and. She's just an awesome, awesome person. She's beautiful on camera, but she's beautiful in real life. And she knows that, you know? And I didn't get a picture with Holony. I wanted to get a picture with Holony, but Holony kind of skipped out a little bit. So, you know. And everybody on here, you are loved by Bugs Bunny. <laughs> it's going. 
you know. <laughs> but, you know, here it is. This is Miss Holiday and Mike Trim this morning, early this morning. That's them doing a live little thing. And I was in the background and I took photos. And I sent them to Mike Trump. Trump. Oh, I was going to show you my... Okay, sunrise. Okay, this was sunrise yesterday morning from my porch. My back porch. You know, the porch that everybody loves to hate. Yeah. Yeah. There was a sunrise. I sent that to Mike Trim yesterday morning. Just before they went off the air. And I asked them this morning, I get, Mike, did you get, you know, did you get my, you know, sunrise photo? He goes, yes, I did, but we were, we were already off the air and I couldn't put it down. I'm like, that's okay. He goes, as long as you got it. He goes, Dar, beautiful sunrise. I go, he goes, and then before I even said anything, he goes, you have awesome sunsets too. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Does he watch my live shows? <laughs> Does he know from Dar from South Florida on YouTube? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. So, you know, I didn't say nothing. But, you know, life is life. You live your life to the fullest. And there's going to be a lot of haters out there. Because there's a lot of people that are not happy, I tell you. And, you know, it's okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, meow, meow. I mean, I got up yesterday morning and took a photo of... Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, you need to watch this. Watch, watch this. This is for my phone. I was on the lake. Yeah. Yeah. Life is grand. Life is great. Life is awesome. Live your life to the fullest. Don't let anybody bring you down. If they do bring you down, you get up. You get up, you shake it off, and you move on. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm moving on. Yes, I talk about them. They still talk about me. But I've never done what they've done to me. My haters. And, um, you know, yes, life is what you make it. It is. Ashley is very pretty, very gorgeous, and an awesome, awesome person in life. She is she is more beautiful. I, I every time I would see her on, I would I was like, oh my goodness. Ashley Glass, she has a wonderful husband. She has two beautiful kids. She is a beautiful person inside and outside. And we hit it off. And she looked at me and she goes, I know you. I go, no, you don't. <laughs> I go, no, you don't. She goes, yes, I do. I don't know you don't. And then I filled her in and she goes, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> but I didn't think she was watching my shows. so. 
And if they are right now on the porch, bless your heart. But I know they have to get up early in the morning. They're probably sleeping, snoozing, you know. Hey, you know, it's the early morning show, okay? They get up more than before me. Fred Fuller. There's a real one chat. What are you talking about, Fred? Oh, Trinkle Toes, do you know what to do? Is he good? Mr. Fred? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all right, because I don't care. <laughs> Fred, you're, you're new to my channel, huh? You like my chat? Hmm. Uh, oh, you didn't have to do that, honey. Twinkle, no. He was cool. Oh, come on. Let him come back in. But you don't have to, you know, leave the message. Yeah, delete the message, but let him come back in. Why well, knew? I don't know. I never, I never seen him before. Oh, he's very new? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He could be anybody. He could be my number, 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 number one. Cyberbully. And we know who that is. Mr. Whiskey Drinking, Sipping, Pepsi Guy. Yeah. We know who he is. Just under a fake name. But then again, I could be wrong. So... Hey, I'm covering my tracks here, okay? I'm covering my tushy. <laughs> He's got 24 hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he can't come back in. Oh, really? You got 24 hours? Oh, man. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Hey, it is what it is. I thought it was kind of cute, though. You know, Dar's chatting. Yeah, that's what Dar's room is all about. A chit chat room. Hello, people wake up out there on, you know, YouTube land. Jeez, Louise. Wait a minute, where's Louise? Where is Louise? I'm just saying, you know, but see, a lot of people want to come in here and say mean and nasty, negative things about Dar. Okay, whatever. Go right ahead. I got my trickle toes and I have my other, you know, moderators. So go right ahead. Come on in. Trickle Toes is really good. Mm -hmm. She's good because I know I know she's good. You know? I'm not going to be on this weekend. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Well, I might be on Sunday. We'll be back. Yeah. I'm going, we are going to have a nice weekend without YouTube. Oh my gosh, what did I just say? No YouTube this weekend. <gasps> oh my goodness, I, am I losing my mind? Well, my mind's had already been lost, so. <laughs> Twinkle toes. No, she's she'll be here soon if I'm on. I told her I wasn't coming on, but I you know, you know me, I lie. Yeah. So, she'll be on if I'm still on. I might just turn this off. I've been on here over an hour already. And I need to start packing. Well, it's not going to take us long. <sighs> the number one that I like to do. 
is to come on here and I didn't used to want to piss people off. But if you don't like me, okay, whatever. 12.30 a.m. here. Time for me to sleep. Have a wonderful campfire, Dar. <laughs> Keep smiling. Good night, everyone. Well, good night to you, too. Oh, well, thank you, April. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you know, life is life. Life, would you live it? This weekend, I'm going to have a good time, and it doesn't matter what it is. You know, I'm going to spend time without YouTube. Sorry, YouTube, but, and sorry, beers and tears out there, if you're watching. Which, I, you, probably not, but anyway, if you are. Beers and tears, I love you. I mean, I could watch you on my cell phone, but, yeah, you know what? No. Because I'm not going to do that. No. No. Nah. Nada. Because Dar has a life away from YouTube. You know, people think that Dar is the Queen of Sheba on YouTube. No, I'm not Queen of Sheba. Never said I was. You know? I love YouTube. I don't have any bad things to say about YouTube. Oh, I know. I know. I know, Trinkle Toast. I know. You know, it's just, you know, how people say crap about you when you don't even, huh? Think about it? What? Okay, whatever. Because, you know what, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, whatever you say about me, okay, whatever. If that's what you think about me, okay. I'm not worried about it because I know who I am. I do. And I had a great day today. And nobody's going to spoil that. I had so much fun today that they said that they were going to come back out to Okeechobee. I, and I can't wait to, for them to come back out. Because they can't. Because I had a great day. Watching what they do behind the scenes is more interesting than watching the local news, to be honest with you. I have respect for everybody that works behind the scenes on newscasts and stuff because you don't realize what goes be goes on behind the scenes. I never did. And, well, I did see it on the Today Show when I was up there a few years ago. And, um, you know, it, it was just like, okay. You know, you, this the local channel, you don't realize what's going on behind the scenes. They do this and they do that and they, you know, they snap their fingers and, you know, whatever they do. And you have to look here and look there and, oh, camera this, camera that. And, and on. they do the same thing at the Today Show, you know. You don't want to be looking like this and then people looking like, you know, you're looking like this and people looking like, what are you looking at? You know? And, but these people, like I met one, one gentleman today. I'm not going to mention his name, but he knows who he is. He's probably watching too, but he's probably sleeping. Um, that he's been with WPTV for like 30, over 35 years. Was it 37? And he's been doing what he's been doing. And he's a good cameraman. And we talked today. And I've learned a lot from him from behind the scenes. And I'm not into all that stuff. 
Okay. Here I am having my own little chit chat room and, you know, drinking my beer from a wine glass. <laughs> and, you know, life is good. I'm doing everything right here. But I have respect for the people behind the cameras on each and every broadcast. Like Lester Holt, for example. Do they give the people behind the scenes respect? Well, maybe they do. Once in a blue moon. And that's okay. But do you realize what they do behind the scenes? Do you? No, you don't. It's a big responsibility. It is. I mean, it's a big responsibility to make the the um, anchor people look pretty and look good and look great and happy and all that other stuff. But what about the people behind the scenes? Do you respect them? They're hard workers. They do this, they do that, they, you know. If you say, jump up 20 times, they'll jump up 20 times, you know. Because that's their job. They do what they do. Just like the police department here in Okeechobee. And the paramedics. And the fire people. Fire department. Do you know who is behind the scenes? Do you know what they go through? We don't know. We know that they're there for us. The police department, the sheriff's department, the firemen, the paramedics. They're there to take care of us. Just like the news people. Yeah, they might lie a little bit or bend the truth. Maybe they don't know what the whole truth is all about. But you have to give them credit. But what about the people behind the cameras? What about them? Do you know anything about behind the cameras? Like, I'm the only one here. You know, I see you love bug. But the thing is, do you realize what's go going on in the, with the world? I mean, I saw something today when I was sitting with a friend of mine who looked up at the TV and somebody was saying something about, I don't know, something is real or whatever. I, I, I didn't get the whole thing. And it was like, okay. But then I realized they were protesting in the United States of America. Why are they protesting? You know, Israel, whatever's going on over there, it's going on over there. Why are you over here protesting because whatever's going on over there? Okay. I don't know. I don't know the whole story. So, I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, maybe they're doing it for a good thing. I don't know. Bad thing? I don't know. Now, if you came all the way from wherever and you're protesting in our United States of America, okay, for whatever it is, well, go back. Pack your bags and go back. You know, but if you were born and raised in the United States of America, that's different. Then I can understand. But don't come on and say, oh, I'm doing this because of this, whatever. You know, get on a plane and pack your bags and go back. Don't sit here in the United States of America and complain about whatever's going on to wherever. And, you know, you sit here and, and, and just, you know, protest and whatever. 
I mean, uh, there's a lot of protesting going on. You know. But the thing is, what the F are you doing over here complaining about whatever's going over there? Get your butt back on the plane and go back over there. That's all you got to do. But no, you got to sit here, especially in New York City. You know, they were protesting something today I saw on the news. Yeah, live on the news. And it was like, are you seriously telling me this crap? If you don't, if you're not happy here in the United States of America, get your butt back on the airplane and go back to where you came from. Don't cry, baby, about it. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of harassment about that. I know. These people, I, I understand why they're coming over here to the United States of America. I understand. I was born and raised in the United States of America. You know, free of the brave, home of the whatever. You know, whatever it is. I can't get squat for help if I need it. I can't get squat. They look at me like, oh, you're old enough. You can take care of yourself. Hello? But no. And no. (laughs) And yes, I will be. (laughs) Because I'm going to turn this off. April, I am so... Pissed off, not pissed off, because I don't even know what's going on. I haven't watched, really watched the news today. I just saw little bits and pieces today. So, I'm just saying. People need to grow up. Life is life. You know, you're over here for a reason, fine. You come over here for a good reason. You got your paperwork all in, all together. Great. Don't come over here want, wanting handouts and stuff. We can't get squat here. We were born and raised here. That's what ticks me off. And I'm I, and I'm allowed to be ticked off. Although I don't really need to help. You know, I don't. But maybe one day I do. We do. Maybe one day. (laughs) You're going to Africa. Well, good for you. You know, and I get these idiots out there on YouTube land and they just think they can control me. No. They're not going to control me. Because I'm just... Just back at you. You on the coaster? Cool, cool, April. When are you going? Soon? It's going to be floating on the really pretty, you know ocean over there I know they have blue and green oceans over there me too I know Ohio girl I know I'm the same way. My ancestors came over. They got in. Here I am. I can't get squat if I need it.
But, you know, a life is life. What, can, what else can you say? You know? I hope people out there on the porch, my porch right out there on YouTube land, I hope you realize wherever you are, wherever we go, we have to have our paperwork in order. You know, Costa Rica, wherever. We have to have our stuff in the right order. You just don't come over here and do what you think you're going to do and get everything for free. That's not, no. That's not right. Right, Ohio girl. Freedom is not free. It's earned. And Ohio girl is right. 100% right. Because here we are. We're born and raised in the United States of America. We can't get nothing. How is that? What, because we were born and raised here? But other people can come over. doesn't matter where. They could get everything for free. Dental, health, you know, everything. Free place to live, free, um, you know, everything. We can't get squat. And our tax dollars goes up because of you people. I mean, I understand why you're coming over here. Just come over here the right way. That's it. That's all I ask. But no. no. You want to, you want to come over here for to get everything for free. There's nothing free over here. Well, your freedom. Oh, April showers don't get me started. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. So <laughs> an hour and almost hour and a half. And it's time for me to shut this down. To be honest with you, it is. I just don't hate it. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's what it looks like for me, April. They come over here. And I understand why they're coming. Don't get me wrong. They want a, a, a new life and stuff. I understand that. Believe me, but come in the right way. I know what's going on. I watch my news. I know what's, uh, although I didn't really watch it today. So. But no. So on that note, to all of my cyber bullies out there on the porch. Thank you for being my cyber bully. And thank you everybody in the room. I love all my peeps. April, I, April showers, I love you to death. You know that. Trinkle Toes, Ohio Girl, and all the, love, well, I don't know about Love Bug, but, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just spurting out what I'm saying. You know, I don't have any heart feelings for anybody. You know, I love each and every one of my peeps. My old peeps, the peeps that went, been here, the peeps that have left, come and go. I love them all. I still do. I do. Trickle toes, I'm going to be calling you soon. Like right after. So bear with me. Okay. For at least 10 minutes. Thank you guys. Thank you, YouTube. 
thank you for everyone that loves me, for who I am, for what I am. Um, I'm not going to pussyfoot around anymore. No one's going to walk all over me anymore. Because I'm a big girl. I can t take care of myself. I had a great day today. It's been a very, very long day today. And I wouldn't change it for nothing. No. I love my life. I love my husband. I love my animal, my peanut. I love my family. I love my peeps. Do I love my cyber bullies? No. But you know what? Do I care? <coughs> no. Because you know what? Dar from South Florida, and she's, well, she might be drunk to her tonight, but it doesn't matter. Because you know why? Drunk Dur, or Dar from South Florida, always has a happy smile. Yes, Cynthia Vines Montgomery might say it's a plastic smile or whatever. It's not a real smile. But you know what? Cynthia Vines Montgomery, it's the real thing. Hey, crazy Frenchman, I'm leaving. <laughs> because I've been on a little bit too long and I need to go. And um, I just want to say I love you all. Don't love my psycho bullies. I love each and every one of my new people. My... Um, News people in the mornings on Monday to Friday. Gosh, I am in, you know. But I know he's happily married now. Happily married, too. My really ghost on Sunday mornings on NBC at 8 a.m. Gotta love his smile, you know. He has a great smile. And I love him on Sunday. I won't see him this Sunday. No. Mm. What? She loves when you mention his name. Oh, really? Oh, is it M.M.? Oh, well, whatever. And then, kiss my tushy and bite me, okay? But still, to this day, Okeechobee City, or Okeechobee, around the lake with a big heart. And that's from Z's Hearts for His hair Heroes. I love Mr. Z, little man, Mr. Z. So I love you. I love Okeechobee. Love Okeechobee. And I love all the heroes. That goes to the firemen, the paramedics, the city popo, police department. And to the best, gosh darn it, Sheriff's Department in Okeechobee. You all rock and roll. So, there you go. Because that little man is your hero. They, he thinks that you are his hero. You know? And... I say the same thing. I don't want to defund the popo. 
the police department or the fire department or the paramedics or the trauma hawk or anybody out there. Because this little boy has a big heart. He is a, he has such a big heart. I can't even explain his heart. I met this little boy today. He's sweet. He's kind. He's courtesy. His parents raised him to be so right. And uh, he says, please, and thank you, and yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, and all of that. He's going to be somebody when he gets bigger. You never know. He might be the next, well, not the next president, but, you know, he's only going to be seven tomorrow. But you never know what this little guy will do with his life. Because of his great parents. Oh, cool, April. You have a good night, honey. Love up your honey bunny, okay? Because this little boy will be something one day. Right now, he's, he got me. He has me through the pinky finger and maybe all five fingers, you know? And he's only, will be seven years old <laughs> tomorrow, April 19th. So happy birthday, Miss, Mr. Z's. Z's Hearts for Heroes. Thank you for being a little man. You're going to be somebody when you grow up to get bigger. And I'm going to love you for who you are and for what you are. Because this little man. And I just want to say thank you to Michael Tr Mike Trim from my WPTV newscast. To... Just show us, this little man, what he does. And if the police department, the sheriff's department, if you want to knock on my door tonight, please go right. If you see the lights on and I'm still talking, if you want to knock on the door, you're more than welcome to. Okay. This little man... Just gives me the greatest, biggest heart ever. See this heart? It's 30 times over for this little guy. And that's a good thing. And it's probably his bedtime, too. So it's past my bedtime. Well, not past my bedtime, but. Only 8 o'clock. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much again. And Triple Toast, I'm going to give you a call. I might have to redo my computer. Okay. So, love you guys. And thank you out there on the porch. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I got these. I got two of these for, uh, I don't remember how much it was. But um, I got two of them. I think for the price of one that I paid up here one. Eh. Well, anyway. Thank you. See ya! Don't let the bed bugs bite you in the arcs. On the way out to my cyber bullies. Ah. Sorry, I just had to say that.